A Senate bill cleared the first hurdle that would allow drinking outside of these Cleveland hot spots and in other designated outdoor areas. Kristen Volk spent the day poring over the open container proposal. Kristen, safety has to be a concern here. It certainly is, Chris. Not only a concern for some downtown residents, but also for the city councilman who oversees this area. They don't want people, all of these people, from here to the queue to Progressive Field to be walking around the downtown designated areas with drinks in their hands. But managers of restaurants here have a different point of view. If you want to enjoy that open container and walk down the street, I'll be the place that you'll get it on the first stop. The manager of Corner Alley on East 4th knows its corner location is prime real estate. We would definitely have more opportunities to make more money. Uh, revenue would definitely go up. Manager Michael Grossa expects revenue to go up by 30 to 40 percent if the state and then the city permit open containers here. Some cool, you know, get more people on East 4th. I would like it. Very good for. A lot of reasons, you know, your tourism, your entertainment, your economic development, the whole nine yards. It's just been a win 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 situation. State Senator Kenny Yuko is a co sponsor of the bill and represents parts of Cuyahoga and Lake counties. He expects open container areas to provide an extra sense of security. Well, right now, you get people that are, they just see, you know, uh, opportunity because there's not that many people, but all of a sudden they get out there and they see all kinds of people out there. They, they don't want these witnesses observing them. But Katie Yeager, who lives on East doesn't see it that way. How on earth do we make sure that everyone stays in control? Because we've seen people not be able to control themselves. As it stands now, the bill gives local municipalities most of the power to decide about the rules and regulations of open container areas. They can even approve or deny open container areas altogether. I spoke to a representative from Mothers Against Drunk Driving this afternoon. He told me that that, that organization is concerned about this bill, but they are not lobbying against it because it does not directly relate to drinking and driving. Live in Cleveland, I'm Kristen Volk, News Channel 5.